And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, verse 27. The feeling that other people have lives that are more impressive, fulfilling, or happy than our own can come and go throughout our lives, depending on what's going on in our careers, relationships, and families. But it's definitely normal to feel it at some point. Everyone experiences life challenges, whether we see them or not. So we compare ourselves to other people. First Corinthians 4, 18. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Are you willing to see things differently? There was once a man walking along a long stretch of road, carrying a heavy wooden cross on his back. It appeared like he was walking along the road for some time. It was clear that he was tired from the effort of walking with a big wooden cross on his back. Oh God, please take this burden off my back and make it easy for me. I am exhausted and tired and have a long way to go. Oh God, thank you for showing up. Is there anything you can do? This burden is heavy and painful. Hi, my friend. Were you looking for me? I am afraid I cannot take the cross off your back. As you know, every person has to bear his own cross. It is the natural law of life. As I said, I cannot let you take the cross out. But here's what I can do to help you. Can you see that big warehouse a few hundred meters down the road? That's a place where wooden crosses meant for others are stored. You can go in there and select any other wooden cross that may be lighter than the one you are carrying. That way, at least your back will feel lighter. The man felt hope. He went into the warehouse and saw it filled with hundreds of wooden crosses almost identical to his. He put his cross down and started checking different crosses looking for the one that felt the lightest. This one feels heavier. Hmm, the next one too. This one feels a wee bit little lighter, but the edges are very sharp and will cut my skin. After testing many crosses, the man came across one right near the door that felt light and comfortable on his back. He quickly picked up the lighter cross and walked over to the teacup warehouse feeling happy at least i have a lighter cross to pick up but sir this cross you have picked up is your own that you came in with there's nothing to exchange this for this story is a metaphor for the life we all lead every one of us has to deal with challenges that are unique for our individual lives the challenges are like a unique cross for us to bear as in the story, for as long as the man did not experience other crosses weight, he thought his cross was heavy and difficult. But once he tested the other crosses, he realized the one he was carrying was the right one for him. It's similar to our lives too. You think your problems are bigger than everyone else's. Your problems always appear magnified in your perception. However, when you experience someone else's problems or issues from their perspective, you will realize that your issues are not so bad after all. The bottom line is this. The more we focus on the weight of the cross, 
and less on the destination we have to reach, the heavier and burdensome the cross will be. We all have a cross to bear. That is inescapable. When we accept and acknowledge the simple truth, we start focusing on the best way to complete the journey. In the process, our journey through life becomes more pleasant. Accept the challenges and curveballs that life throws at you with grace and ease. They are your cross to bear. When you are going through a challenge, keep in mind the temporary sacrifice is worth it all in light of knowing Christ and eternal glory. Don't get discouraged or feel like failures. He will never leave you or forsake you. The Lord has given us a helper, the Holy Spirit. May we experience a life of purpose which is found in knowing the beauty of Christ. His loving kindness empowers us to pick up our cross and follow him. Nothing else in this life really matters. It's a faith walk anchored in the revelation of Christ. Philippians 4, 11 through 13. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me.